Hey guys, how are you today? Alrighty, so we are going to continue working on our texture today. I need to get out just a Stabilo All Pencil and a pencil sharpener. Got to move all my little bottles. Let's see. There we go. All right. So this part is a really great part in which to use up a bunch of paint. So if you're like me, maybe you have some paint that's almost empty already, you want a project to use it up on, or maybe you have some paint that you bought that you don't really care for, and you didn't find out until after you bought it, something like that. So this is a great project to use it up for, um, use it up on, I should say. And we're gonna use some acrylic paints. I've got some of these small little bottles of golden fluid acrylics. I have bigger bottles and when I do you when I work on canvas I, you, I like to use these as one of the final layers um, I like the transparent property of them which it would be no big surprise to most of you since I really love watercolor and these are like a non movable oops permanent watercolor so um, but I want to use some of them up because some of these are really old and they're starting to dry out I have my Stabilo all pencil a pencil sharpener and this thing so I don't want to completely cover up the fact that these this is product packaging. I'm probably not going to do anything with the back. And I wanted to, on some of these, put a hanging tab hole at the top. This is like a hanging tab punch thing. This is by We Are Memory Keepers. And I don't remember what exactly it's called. It's not called a hanging tab punch. It's called something else. But I will put a link for it in the description below. It works like a charm and I got to tell you even the thickest of the packaging here this thing cuts through it like butter and on some of the thinner ones I was able to do two or three pieces at the same time fabulous fabulous punch I love it but and so I took all my packaging and I punched a, a, a tab in the top already so now we're gonna take some of our pieces kind of get them out of my way and we're gonna put some color on them and um, also bring out some of the texturing. So I did put a piece of Fabriano watercolor paper on my table um, and this piece is already um, kind of narfed up and, and bent around the edges so I thought it was a good piece to use. I want something that will catch the extra paint and then this can dry and later on I can cut this up and use it for journal covers or doodle on it or something like that so I don't want to waste any of my materials is the point. So I'm going to just at random without thinking about it too much um, make some marks on some of the paper. I'm going to I have a, a brush sitting here and some water. I'm going to grab some of my paints paint booger and I'm going to just drip some of it on here I've got my spray bottle also. Oops, put another color. Some of these are really watered down because they were almost empty. This is one of them. So I don't know how pigmented it's going to be. I guess it's pretty good. So once I get something I think is really interesting, that I think is really interesting, I'm going to like try to dry it. Now you don't have to cover the whole thing if you don't want to. You can leave some of it the white paper. I did want to cover a little more than I had there. And let's see, I'm going to 
the baby wipe out. I do think I want to just, yeah, do that. Now, if you're going to do this and you're using like baby wipes and that sort of thing, save, you know, you can save all of it. It'll make good collage material when you're done, as will the Fabriano paper here. Um, I just want to make it so it's not drippy and then I can hang it up above my table to dry. I'm going to continue working on all of my pieces. I'm going to fast forward through the process and I'll be right back.
Okay, I made a mess. I used up some paint and I've got everything drying. I want you to really, here's one. Don't worry about color. Don't worry about making mud. Don't worry about it looking pretty. In fact, why don't you go out and intentionally make it bright and obnoxious? <laughs> of course, you know we're not done yet, but I want you to just paint the background, enhance the texture, use the colors that you have just laying around, maybe intentionally use up the colors you don't care for, and the paint brands, like I said earlier, that you don't care for, that you have, that you bought that you don't like, um, use those to color your background, and then let them dry, and we will be back in step three, and we'll continue to work on our background. Yeah? Because we're not done yet. All right. I will see you then. Don't forget the most important thing besides have fun with this project and just make a mess and have fun. Look at this piece of paper. Isn't it just, just delicious? All right. Most important thing, go out and have a good day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. Remember, ugly art. We're making ugly art. Yeah. All right. Bye.